going to go for it. Okay. Oh my god. Here we go. 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 <laughs> Good morning guys, it is um, 6.25 in the morning on Thursday 20th of July. This is where I came into last night, which is called um, Bird's Nest Number 3. I'm not sure if that's going to come out, it's not, it's too dark. So it's very early in the morning, I started sleeping in the shelter and all I got here was ch -ch -ch -ch, and I was like, oh my god, it's mice, freaking everywhere, just everywhere and everything. And I was lying in my sleeping bag and I was just like totally covered up, like the only time, like literally this amount of my face exposed and I thought I'm either going to not sleep at all or I'm going to spend the next yeah six hours just worried about mice get up put my tent up which is what I did so possibly got up about 10 o'clock half 10 put my tent up in the night um actually had a, an okay sleep but just woke up really really early this is actually the um this is the footpath that's uh the footpath the Appalachian Trail that carries on this way so um, I'm not sure it's the best place to set up, but I've got all my crap, um, all my stuff, which I just need to get packed up. I just need to get moving this morning. I don't know, I'm feeling really motivated. I just want to get walking, just get on with it, get these miles done and dusted and get out of this part of the world. So yeah, packing up time. two baby cubs. Oh, I'm just going to start backing away and making some noise. Woo! Okay. Time to turn the camera off, I think. Still backing off, still making noise. They are not moving anywhere. Woo! woo, woo! Yeah. Oh, it is very cute, two baby cubs. But Mama Bear is not cute. Let's just keep moving backwards. <laughs> Oh, those kids are cute. I don't know, you probably can't see them now, but basically through that archway there on that tree up there, there's like two baby cubs and the mum bear's just behind that tree. It doesn't look like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> so that is the path I need to go. I've got a little bit closer to, to the archway. But woo, woo, woo! Let's have another little look. Yeah, the baby cubs are still on the tree. Let's just move back again. Just give them the space, give them the time. You know, no rush. Let's just see what happens. I'll just keep my distance and move backwards again, slowly. That, I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of an adrenaline rush. Not what you expect at six, 10 to seven in the morning. Um, but obviously it's their land. I'm invading their space, so um, yeah. Um, I've got past it, still making a bit of noise, still cooking my poles and stuff together. Um, but yeah, like, you know, she's totally in the, in the right, it's her space. She's got her baby cubs to protect. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but yeah, let's get moving. Let's give them some space. Let's give them their space, their land, etc. Right, this is what the path is looking like now. Woo! So that, that encounter was maybe about five minutes from where I was camping last night. So this is one of the reasons why you have to hang your bear bag, why you don't sleep with toothpaste in your tent and put all smellies, anything that smells, anything that's got a scent into a bag and use the, either like the bear hanging facilities or the bear cages, not bear cages, you know what I mean, the bear boxes um, and just put your stuff away because it's like they say on all the posters, you know, a fed bear is a dead bear. So it's not the bear's fault if we 
you know, if we feed them and they start becoming aggressive, it's, you know, we're coming into their space so we've got to treat them with, uh, with respect and not give them the opportunity to eat our food and get used to being able to be fed that way. Oh my God, my heart is still beating. <laughs> Hey, hey, so we're about a mile and a half away from a place called the Wayside, which is a place where I can get some food. So I'm gonna go have my uh, breakfast stroke lunch there. It's about, I've done about 12 miles so far this morning or 11 miles plus the ones I've done this extra mile to get there. Um, it is gonna be a big day, lots of walking. I'm not quite sure how far I'm gonna get because I believe the first hostel that I want to stay at is actually closed now, it closed on the 5th of July. So therefore I possibly need to walk an extra three or four miles, which doesn't seem much, but after you've already maybe smashed out 30, to do an extra four is a little bit tiring. So I'm gonna play that by ear, but plan is get into the wayside uh, camping area, get my food, buy some snacks, and uh, I only really want to stay for about 45 minutes to an hour maximum, and then get back out on the, on the trail and get walking again. Okay, let's get there. This is what I'm walking down now. So it's a little bit rocky, but you know, it's downhill. So we'll take that. Oh, this is it folks, our walk Wakeside, 0.1 miles off the Appalachian Trail. But this is where I can apparently get some food and some snacks and chow down. Let's go do it. Very, very happy now. Hey guys, how you doing? Not gonna lie, I feel a ton better. I just had a chicken sandwich, a BLT, um, basically two refills of Pepsi, two scoops of ice cream. I also bought an extra two BLTs to pack out with me, which I've got. Um, I got rid of my trail mix because every time I looked at my trail mix, I thought, I don't want to eat you. And if I do, I think I'm going to vomit. So I hate wasting food, especially food I've paid for, but it's been sat in my pack for six days and I haven't eaten it. So trail mix got binned, all my rubbish has been binned. Got myself this new, very fancy orange band, which is apparently gonna keep all the uh, midges, etc., away from me. So we'll give that a go. If it works, I might buy another few, one for the other wrists, one from the back of my backpack. Stop me getting bitten. Um, I really wanna get to 969 miles today. 69.7 to be precise so we're currently at 500 no not 950 so 19 miles to go it's about half past 12 big old climb coming up then it's relatively flat ish so not sure how I'm gonna get on so we'll play it by ear we'll see um, it, sort of yeah I don't know I'm gonna play it by ear but feel so much better, I've got some good food, I feel re-energized, recharged, so let's go and do this. Onwards, onwards, onwards. Hey guys, so here we are at Rattlesnake Point Overlook, and say hi. Hi. So we've just been having the debate, where am I from? Because everybody says what? Australia. Australia. And I'm like, do I sound Australian? Um, and then people are like, eventually like, British, British, British. But who's your, who's your little dog? This is Cammy. Hi, Cammy. How you doing, gorgeous? How's your hike going so far? Very good. Yeah. Where did you start? This year we started Damascus, Georgia. Damascus, Georgia. Where are you going to head to? Virginia. I mean, sorry. Where are you going to head to? Maine. Maine. Nice. Did you, did you do the other section last year? Yeah, very cool. God, this weather is incredible. It's so hot, <laughs> dripping in sweat. Right guys, thought I'd do just a mini update on the day. So woke up, well, 
last night, got up at like 10 o'clock, uh, left the shelter, put my tent up, slept in the tent, left the tent early this morning, bumped into some bears, two baby cubs and mama bear, a bit of an adrenaline rush, rush uh, past a rude person on the trail who didn't say hello back to me, got to El Walken, which is basically 0.1 miles off the trail, had an awesome chicken sandwich, BLT, packed out two BLTs with me, banked at 12 miles by about 12 o'clock, got 19 miles to go and I've just done another two and a half this next section is uphill bumped into some very cool people with amazing dogs um, loving all the dogs on the trail just amazing and uh, yeah my new wrist thing seems to be working um, don't know how it works but I'll give you an update and let you know if I get bitten on the right hand side and not the left otherwise it's been good going thanks for watching the vlog i'm going to keep you updated whoop updated on progress as we bash out these miles on the appalachian trail following the white blaze Today, I have to say, I'm not having the best luck with animals because there's now a big black snake on the trail, right on the trail, right there, on the trail, right, right there. Can you see the snake? And I'm not quite sure how to get around it, to be perfectly honest, unless I go to the left. Oh. I can't just, I hate standing here, I'm not doing anything. I'll try and make some noise for my poles. <laughs> I was gonna try and sneak past it, but I'm scared. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. To the left, go on, keep moving. To the left, go on, go on, keep going. That was the way I was gonna go as well. <laughs> so it's black and gold, and it looks like it's got a little rattlesnake at the bottom. Go on, keep on moving, it's moving. Go on, up the trail, keep on moving. Go on, keep going. Okay, it's making a move. Oh my god, heart rate is pounding. No, keep moving. It's stopped. Half on the trail. Do I make a run for it? Are you meant to run or not? I don't know. Okay, I think it's moved enough. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, oh my god. Here we go, 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 here we go! <laughs> right, made it past the snake. Made it past the bears today. Made it past the snake today. It's not following me. That is good news. What a day. Okay guys, we've now made it to Gravel Springs Gap, elevation 2655, boom. How you doing? Six o'clock. Need to oh, refill my water supply. This is where I'm gonna have to get my water from. This little this little stream. So this could take a while, but obviously water is important because I'm dripping in sweat. Oh, I'm going. So it's weird when you take your backpack off because you're just like, oh, I'm so light. 7.30 in the evening and I have to say this type of train is not appreciated after 12 hours of walking because my, my concentration you need for walking on this type of stuff is just 
it just does your brain in, massively does your brain in. Let's hope it's for not too long. Hey guys, 7.45, three miles to go. Got about a mile downhill, a very short climb up, and then like a mile and a half downhill. I'm gonna go for it, it's gonna go dark at about 8.30. But if I can get to Font, sorry, it's so shaky. If I can get to Font Royal, then I can get a bed for the night in the hostel, and I've probably done like 33 miles, something like that. So, yeah, podcast on. Just got to do it. Just got to get these miles banked and just push myself really hard now. Woo! We're getting close, guys. We're just on the final downhill stretch to get to the road, and then from the road, it is 150 yards to the hostel. So, good day, good day. I'll update you once I get to the hostel. Sorry, it's bumpy. Yay! This is my happy face. This is a mountain home. Oh, it's too dark, you can't see it. Mountain home, bed and breakfast. Oh my goodness, it's still semi-light. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't, I can't wait to add up how many miles I've done today. I'm thinking it's something like 33, but oh, a shower, clean bed. Booyah, people, booyah. Right guys, I've made it inside. i am decided to go for a vitamin water and let me show you, this is where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. So I've got my own double bed. I'm gonna take a shower and then, actually you know I'm gonna say goodnight now. Good night. Thank you so much for watching my vlogs. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Big shout out to Flim for doing all the editing. All the links are down below. If you wanna sponsor my hike, buy me a bed, buy me a burger, buy me a beer, or even though I don't drink beer, I drink wine. Actually, I don't really drink at the moment. You know, get what I mean. Links down below to PayPal or you become a regular patron via Patreon. All right, take care. Lots of love. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.